My name is Andreas Tesch. I am the fracture engineer of the materials technology section of the European Space Agency. I'm Graham Harris and I'm a laboratory technician. During the development of um, the fourth stage of the new ESA launcher, Vega, we had to do a burst test of the propellant tanks. During the demonstration test, the tank exploded completely unexpected. Well, the resolution of the problem was very urgent because uh, any delay in, in this uh, would have delayed the whole launch and the whole launch campaign. When we got the sample here, we, we looked at the, at the fracture surface and uh, we could see that uh, some parts of the fracture surface became very brittle and uh, couldn't withstand the pressure of the tank. We normally have an, an initial meeting with the laboratory personnel and we uh, formulate an investigation procedure. First of all, we used uh, microscopes, uh, optical microscopes. We used the scanning electron microscopes, an energy dispersive uh, X-ray system. Then we used uh, also the X-ray uh, tomography and uh, the whole uh, microsection for metallography and uh, looking at the, at the microstructure. We cut pieces from the tank, then we made a visual inspection. Optical examination revealed that it was still discolored surface, which is very good for a, a welded sample. From this point, we could go into more detail in the, in the scanning electron microscope, looking at the fracture surface to really find the fracture mode and the fracture path through the, through the material. On the chemical analysis, we confirmed that it was the right grade of titanium, but also we found material that shouldn't have been there. We recommended the industry to improve the cleanliness of the surfaces before the weld, then to improve the argon shielding gas, to put more shielding in front and uh, at the end of the welding process, and also to improve the welding parameters so to get rid of the pores and the voids that we found in the, in the welding. We had four tanks tested to more than two times the MIOP, the maximum expected operating pressure. And this was a big success for our investigation. And finally also the, the flight, or the maiden flight of Vega, which was in February 2012, it was a big success in the end.